Hello again, I'm Dan Morfitt and this is your Daily Rundown on Channel 7. Thank you for watching. Joining me on the Blue Bonquette now is Kirk Miller to talk about all things fitness. Thank you for coming on the Daily Rundown. Uh, thanks for having me. Uh, I suppose we need to do a quick introduction first. Uh, first you were a young professional footballer, weren't you, at Coventry City? Yeah, um, I was at Coventry City from the age of about 10, 11 till about 19, 20. Um, I was like a young apprentice, stroke pro. Uh, didn't make the grade. So I had to obviously review my options about where to go with my career and uh, believe it or not, I dived into plumbing. So <laughs> from being a, a professional <laughs> footballer to a plumber yeah. uh, and now you're uh, a fitness model and a fitness trainer. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I think when I um, finished playing football, it was a case of, you know, well, what do I do as a career and, and plumbing, it was a trade, it was safe, um, but it wasn't me, if I'm mm. honest. and. Uh, a little bit of luck, in 2010 I entered and won the Men's Health Club Model Competition um, and then that sort of instigated something in my brain that said to me, you know what, you've got to be doing something you love and follow your passion and that led me into fitness and it was the best best thing I ever did to be honest. So people watching right now might be able to recognise you from like Men's Health and Men's <laughs> Fitness magazines. Uh, yeah, maybe, I've, I've had a few publications with Men's Health and Men's Fitness and a few other um, British publications and very lucky to, to do that. but. Yeah, it's, it, that moment literally did change my life. Um, I was probably sort of stuck in a rut, to be honest, sort of uh, just doing the, the safe option, you know, working, you know, 40 hours a week. And mm. But, you know, it wasn't me. So you turned your passion into your career, right? Really? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, that, that aside from actually winning the competition, which was, yeah, great to see yourself on a magazine cover, the biggest thing uh, from that really was the fact that I was able to, I'm now able to do a career, you know, to make a difference to people's lives and get lots of people fit, healthy and strong, so yeah. So you're now on magazines and you're the type of people that we want to be. You, <laughs> I feel such a pitiful excuse <laughs> of a man sat next to you. But you also Very help stupid. people transform their lives with fitness training and, and changes in diet. Um, I, I, this is going to be a stupid question, but have you got any like quick tips of how to get fit, how to lose the blubber, maybe look forward to that summer body this year? Yeah, I mean, the first thing you got to do is start. You know, a lot of people they who, who are sort of looking just to, you know, start getting fit. They 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 try and look for the perfect um, the perfect route, and there there isn't one. Just first of all, you got to start getting moving and just just play around with things. You know, find out uh, what you enjoy to start with, because you know, what I, obviously I obviously love weights, um, but. You know that that might not be for someone else. The Some key people is, might like yeah, to just yeah, go just, running just, and just stuff get, like that. Just get moving and, and just start by changing your eating habits and you know just stupid little things like stop drinking fizzy pop and you know too many takeaways. Just and you know just look for small steps to start with and and just play around with different forms of exercise. And I'm sure you know at some point you'll find something that you think you know what I really enjoy that because. Otherwise, it's not sustainable, and that's half the problem. People start trying to, you know, it's pointless, you know, mm. me saying to you, for example, come and train for me six days a week. Uh, it might not be your thing, you know, so just start by just. You it's know. starting, isn't it? It's yeah, just yeah. that first Take bit. the first step, you know. See, I know it's a cliched saying, but um, yeah, just, just people talk and say, I'm going to do this, I'm going to look for the, the best trainer, this, that, and the other, but just start it's, by actually moving. It's getting off your backside yeah. in the first place. A lot of people are looking to their mobile phones because there's a, a plethora of free apps mm. that uh, people can get, you mm -hmm. know, that, uh, like Swarkit and uh, Five Minute Apps, but mm. they're probably good in the short term, but they're not a solution, are they? Yeah, I mean, I, I think whether it be apps or, you know, these, uh, ab machines or you know the, the, I see lots of quick gimmicks and and you know get about like, get get ripped in 10 days and two minute abs or whatever yeah. it's called and, and I think generally speaking if something sounds too good to be true it generally is yeah um, I think yeah like, like I said earlier just just start by just getting moving whether it be a 20 minute walk every day or you know three 20 minute gym sessions a week you know but it, it these these apps I mean Nothing against them. There are some good apps out there, but I think a lot of them are just looking for the quick book for people to mm. sign up and spend some money. Because half the time, if you actually maybe looked into how many people actually stuck at these stuck at these apps, and um, you know, it's they, and, and it's I can't many. buy a machine as well, like you said, online that says you can do a, an hour workout in two minutes by sitting. on Yeah, something. I mean, I seen a thing the other day on a, one of the uh, shopping channel, and 
it, it was probably one of the worst things I've, I've seen in terms of hot, you know trying to promote fitness. Uh, it said something like you sit on this power plate thing for like two minutes every every other day, <laughs> and that's all you need to get in shape. It doesn't account for the fact you might have to eat healthy around that. Yeah. And, um, there's a lot more around yeah, it. Yeah, and, and I think that the problem comes because there's so much information out there these days, you know, and the problem comes is if you've got someone um, promoting it who's in, in, in great shape, then naive people, can, you know, they, they can look at that and think, oh, they're in great shape. Then that's got to be me. That, that's got, yeah, then oh, I, can, I can buy this and do two minutes a day and, and it's, it's false, it, really. It's a good motivation as well, you know, looking at yourself and, and looking around on social media, there's... Lots of people, uh, like uh, Joe Wicks, the body coach, is getting quite big on like Instagram, but you're quite big yourself on Snapchat, on Instagram, on Twitter. Is, is that a good thing to do? Because you know, social media is almost a little bit of motivation. You can show them new techniques, or yeah. you, you could cook a meal with them, yeah. and they could see how easy it is to make, say, a stir fry that's good. Yeah, I mean, just like you said, Dan, to be honest, I think social media for me is a way more effective way of like looking for motivation and sources of information to, to, to get fit and to start your, your fitness journey um like you say joe weeks is doing great there's many there's, there's hundreds and thousands of people now on social media on instagram snapchat etc and that's that's a more real uh, mm. information and help in my opinion um rather than these quick gimmicks that, that say you can do this in you know two minutes so because um, I've seen some of your work, you, when you uh, work and, and train with people, um, you transform them, literally transform them. Yeah. And, and some people have uh, already a level of fitness, so you can uh, just give them sort of a tighter body within eight weeks. So some people it's a, a six month, a year thing. Yeah, I, I think there's no set rule, you know, love, there's no set date or rule with a transformation. I mean, like you've said, I, I, I get people who come to me who not massively overweight but they want to be super ripped for say a, a holiday or they want to do a photo shoot for example and then i've got other people who are a little bit more overweight and they just want to they just want to feel a little bit healthier you know they still want to have say a drink at the weekend or um a, a meal out with friends and stuff so it, 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 it differs really but one thing i try and get with whichever type of client i get is something that's relatively sustainable because the quick fix just doesn't work. I'm not, you know, I'm not interested in trying to, you know, for someone to rent a body for a little bit Ooh. and then they get in shape and then a week later they're, they're off the dot and they blow up and they're unhappy Kebabs again. Kebabs so, and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think like what, what I've learned since, since working in fitness is, is it, it is literally trying to try and find a sustainable system and, and, and training program that's going to work for you that you can stick to and enjoy and, you know, not be like a yo-yo mm. dieter. And, and people have different goals, don't they? Like you said, people either want to get ripped for a holiday, but, uh, you know, some is just, just lose weight and, and be better and maybe play with kids and, mm -hmm. and, and you know, have the, the ability to basically run after them rather than be knackered running up a hill. Yeah, yeah, exa exactly. The thing is, um, I think sometimes, well, you know, especially because I, I deal with these type of clients, so many people can put too much pressure on themselves. You know, they, they can be massively overweight, but they can too much pressure on themselves to get this ripped six pack and that if, if that's not your goal it, it doesn't matter but just just being being healthy you know that's a massive success mm. so even if you're doing nothing at the minute but just being you know start by being active say three three i don't know three times a week you know for half an hour a week you're going to be a lot healthier yeah. and fitter and it's it's bringing in those habits and and rather than say you know just a quick uh regime of hitting the gym hard or going on yeah. a diet it's it's not about that is it? it's about changing your lifestyle and just uh looking after your body more and, yeah. and listening to your body more. yeah exactly for me the biggest advice i'd say is like look at fitness or, or or training or exercise you know to support your lifestyle not take over it and i think that's where some people are a little bit scared to take that step is they think that you know by you know, by trying to become fit and healthy, all of a sudden it's going to suffocate their whole. Um, mm. They have to sacrifice. Whole, so yeah, much yeah, of course, course you have to it, sacrifice to a degree. But what, what I do with all my clients, first of all, is like some people have got busy jobs, they've got busy family, they've got lots, you know, big families. Is is, mm. is is first of all, break down how, how much time in a week realistically can you commit to exercise? And there's no right or wrong, you know, answer to that. Is it's fine, right, you know, is it, is it three hours a week, is it two hours a week, is it four hours, is it more? And then, right, how, how can I make that time most effective for that client mm -hmm. 
to not inhibit the rest of their life, inhibit their time with their family, you know, their social time with their friends and family. So, so just, it's not it's not just one way of doing it. No, and no, 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 the no. individual. Um, looking at this, you know, fitness is becoming really mainstream. I believe there was an expo uh, last yeah. week, the Body Power Expo at the NEC yeah. down in Birmingham, uh, and this is showcasing fitness instructors and and people like yourself, fitness models, and people who help uh, train and, and, and transform yeah. them. Um, is, is that a good thing because people are more aware of what they can do now? Yeah, I mean, I've seen how that the Body Power Show has grown in the last sort of five, six years and it has become more and more mainstream. However, you know, that show ticks sort of every box. You know, you've got bodybuilders, you've got um, fitness models, you've got... Um, oh, there's so much. Um, so for me, that there's it, it, when you go into a show like that, it's one of the most motivating experiences you can have because there's something that ticks every box mm. for women, for, for for guys, for big bodybuilders, for powerlifters, for you know maybe people maybe sort of looking to get into um, uh, fitness shows and stuff. Mm. So there's there's no pressure, but that that show is it was like the first of its kind really in the UK to sort of help promote fitness and 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 just generally. Improve people's, you know, lifestyles. Like, like you said, as long as people follow their passions, it could be cross-country running or it could be yeah. bodybuilding. It, there's yeah, it, lots it, for everybody to do. Now. Yeah, yeah, exa exactly. Um, I think the thing is the way that they look at exercise is, although weights for me has been massively popular, it, it's grown and grown how how effective weights are over the last couple of years. If you don't enjoy that, then it's, it's pointless. Yeah. yeah, even if I knew, say, if I'm going to put you in the gym five, six days a week, and you know, and and make well, you lift weights, I know I'm going to try and I'll change your body, mm. but ultimately if you're not enjoying it, there's, there's no You're point. not going to stick no, at no, it. No, no, there's no well, point doing it, so. Well, if people are interested in transforming or a bit more about fitness, or if they recognised you from the front cover of some <laughs> magazines, uh, your website is? It's uh, www.kurtmiller.co.uk. So people can so, find out more about yeah. that. Thank you for coming to talk on about fitness. Uh, yeah, as you can see, for having me. I am a, a chubby Adonis myself, so uh, I'm glad you, you didn't get me doing <laughs> burpees or anything like that. Coke Miller, our fitness guru, thank you for coming thank on you. tonight. Thank nice you. one. Now, don't go anywhere. Ashley Talbot and Stephen Armstrong will return to the Daily Rundown next each with their something to say. Could be a call to arms, a rant or to bring a spotlight onto a righteous cause. Find out more in about three minutes' time. Stick around.